Hey everyone, Ravi here from Llama Index. If you have been following our videos, we have uh, been uh, implementing various query engines from scratch using uh, workflows. So in this video, we'll be implementing multi-step query engine using workflows concept. So to start with, uh, let's recap what a multi-step query engine uh, does with an example. So basically it breaks down a complex query into sequential sub questions and answers the given query. So for example, uh, here's a sample question in which city did the author found his first company by web. So uh, we need to answer this questions uh, like who is the author that founded his first company by web, right? Uh, once you get an answer for this, then a follow up question has, let's say, uh, since the author here is Paul Graham. So the next follow up question will be in which city did Paul Graham uh, found his first company by web, right? And then a final answer is being generated since uh, for the original query in which he dated the author found his first company by web, uh, there are no more uh, information uh, needed, right? So this second question answer the given, answers the given query, right? So uh, so these are the two sequential steps needed to answer the query. So let's see how you can implement that uh, with workflows concept. Uh, let's start with uh, getting the open a key and then and designing workflows basically you need uh, query engine right like you index the data and then create a query engine and then you need to create this uh, multiple uh, sequential uh, sub queries to answer the query and once you have all this information you need to synthesize the final response right so we'll create an event a query multi-step event uh, which contains the results of uh, this multi-step query process the nodes, source nodes and uh, some metadata information right so let's run it and then uh, in the workflow um, we have combined queries uh, which transforms the uh, given query to a sub query or uh, a sequential sub query okay and then we have a stop function when should uh, we stop this generation generating of step queries right so and then there is query multi-step this is where our event starts and then uh, we have previous reasoning current response and whether should stop or not like you have uh, the if we have reached the final state wherein we don't need any sub subsequent queries to be generated to answer the query right so uh, well it will take uh, a query and then the number of steps is how many uh, sub steps of queries to be generated the default is three and then you need an index summary which is like uh, what is this index about what are you uh, uh, what kind of queries um, an index can answer something like that and then you have a query engine right so what you do is uh, you basically create a uh, step query here, right? So uh, initially there is no uh, uh, previous uh, step, uh, step query, right? And then you have this original query. I need to get one um, sub query probably. And uh, so that will uh, be generated by the uh, step decomposition uh, query transform, right? So it takes the query bundle and then uh, previous reasoning and the index uh, summary and gets the uh, sub query and once you get the sub query uh, you uh, see if i mean uh, if there is no su uh, subsequent sub query generated you it just uh, outputs none so uh, and then if it is uh, none uh, the stop function will say okay uh, this is none right and then no more uh, uh, steps have to be generated so if the stop function is none then uh, it just breaks here Otherwise, yeah, uh, you have what is the current response for the query and then uh, so this is the question and this is the current response. Okay, and then you have the uh, basically have all this in the metadata information and then you, you update the previous reasoning like you have the first sub query and the response. So now you use this uh, current uh, sub query and the response and the original query to generate the next step query. In this case, uh, in which city um, Paul Graham uh, has his first company started uh, right so you have uh, you'll get that uh, second step query and then uh, you get an answer and update the previous reasoning and then again uh, you you create one more query here the queries there are only two queries right and then it, it ends there it just returns none and then when it returns none there is a stop function which says okay should stop true and then just breaks it up uh, and then this uh, steps uh, gets done so you return the nodes what are the different nodes source nodes and uh, uh, final response metadata 
and then uh, it goes to the synthesized part which uh, uh, takes the all the nodes which are the like text chunks information and then uh, generates a final response so that's how uh, you build a step a multi step query engine uh, workflow this is the whole concept uh, take a look in detail and then you'll understand how it is uh, being curated and then let's start uh, uh, trying out here uh, we'll use polygram as a text and then we'll load the data uh, set up the llm uh, create index and query engine run the workflow then set the parameters and then uh, we'll test the query in which city did the author found his company by web let's run through it so yeah it created the first step query who is the author who founded by web and then once you it got the answer polygram in which it did polygram found his first company by web uh, and then the in the third step it just says the query generated is none and then it just stop and using all this information yeah the author found his first company by web in cambridge right and then you can display the uh, the queries created who is the author who founded by web the author who founded by web is polygram and then the next one is in which city did polygram found his company first company by web polygram founded his first company by web in cambridge right so this is how uh, you can uh, solve a complex uh, questions um, by creating sequential sub questions and then get answers for it and finally uh, synthesize the response for it so hope you enjoyed this video see you in the next video soon Thank you.